Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Sorry about that awkward wave right there. Um, but today we are going to do a Valentine's Day makeup tutorial. Excuse my messiness, my camera is falling all over the place. Um, I will actually be doing three looks on my channel, so if you want to see the other two, please subscribe. Um, okay, so for the um, first thing I'm going to do is set my face and bake because I don't want any fallout to, to happen. I actually already did my entire face makeup because I actually filmed the video before I did the makeup tutorial. And so, yeah, I just don't want any fallout. So I'm going to put the Sasha Buttercup powder underneath my eyes. Okay, so the first color we're going into in the transition area is Truffle in the Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar palette. This was basically the main palette that I used um, for this makeup tutorial. And right now I'm just sweeping it um, as a transition color. Even though the main colors in this um, makeup tutorial are pinks and purples, I, I like to always have a brown transition because, well, I'm brown and I, I just think I need something underneath. A color or any color for that matter I just like to always start with brown um, so yeah don't comment on my blending skills I know they need work I'm not a beauty guru or not a makeup artist I'm not any of that so the next color I'm applying on top of the brown are the three pinks in the elf blush palette I'm not sure if there are like more than one different blush palette but I'm just taking the one that I have as three shades I didn't take the fourth shade because it's a little bit too orangey I just mixed all those together and I'm blending it on top of the brown very um, sporadically as you can see I'm kind of getting it all over the place but um, it'll clean up nicely and then at least I think it'll clean up nicely in the end so um, yeah Now I'm going in with the baked blush. I use blushes. I use a lot of blushes for this, um, but it's the baked blush by Black Radiance in the shade Warm Berry. I'm just taking that on top to make it more pink. Um, so yeah, there's nothing really more to explain. I just wanted it to be more pink. <laughs> Now I am deepening the crease, and by doing that, I combined the colors Hot Fudge and Puddin' in the, I feel like I should say it like that, Puddin' um, in the Simmons Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette, and I'm just going in, and it makes like a nice purple um, combined together, because the Hot Fudge has like a purple hue to it, and so yeah. And I'm applying that underneath um, the pink, just a little bit lower. Now I'm taking a clean blending brush, and just making sure there's no harsh lines. It it's kind of flows into one another. I don't know the terms. Now I'm gonna take the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Fawn, I believe is the shade I use. And I'm about to just cut out my crease. Actually, before this makeup tutorial, I've never done a cut crease. So this is my first time. So um, don't judge me. But, um, yeah, I'm just going to just cut out my eye. Um, that line's a little bit crooked right now, but it's going to be fixed. It's going to be fixed. Um, I'm just going to make sure I just put a nice layer of concealer on. As you can see, I did go back in and straighten up that line. It was a little bit crooked. That's why I like the concealers for this because of the little brush. It, it helps. And now I'm going in with the shade Mousse, same palette. And I'm just setting it and making that my basically my lid color. Right now here, I'm about to do a winged eyeliner. I'm taking the Black Radiance Felt Tip Eyeliner, which is the worst eyeliner I've ever used. 
you see how stiff the tip is it's um not it's pulling at my eye you see it tugging it's not super super black it's actually kind of drying and I just brought it it was a dollar because I needed something quick but and it didn't have the wet and wild one that I normally use but I mean it gets the job done it just takes forever to do it I, I would not recommend this eyeliner at all but I, I tried to do my best with it and I'm not that good at wings anyway and I don't necessarily like wings on my eyes because I have small eyes and so it, it always ends up being a thicker wing than I'd like so it's, it's just whatever but I did a wing with this look And now here I'm just going back into the chocolate bar palette and I thought that it needed to be deeper. I thought it wasn't enough uh, contrast with the purple and the pink. So I decided to take a little bit of this licorice in the palette, the black that I was just showing you, and just go over top of the crease because I just thought it to me, I don't know, I just thought it needed to be a little bit more pronounced and I think the purple was cutting it. Um, but a little goes a long way with that black, so just be careful with what you use. And now I'm just going in and doing the other eye. Now I'm taking all the pinks that I used and applying that to my lower lash line. And now I'm going in with the Estee Lauder Sumptuous Knockout Mascara, my favorite mascara. And just applying a thick coat of that on my top and bottom lashes. Now I go into the palette again. I'm taking Butter Pecan and Pink Sugar. Originally I was just going to go with Pink Sugar, but it's kind of white and chalky. And I didn't like how it looked. So I took the rose gold color Butter Pecan and added that together and just applied it with my finger. And then I, as you saw, I applied too much and then I just blended it out. Now I'm wiping away that baking, not baking powder, setting powder, um, the Buttercup one. Adding a little bit of highlight to my nose, my top lip. Um, because I'm extra, even though I'm going nowhere. Um, adding a little bit more blush, and as you can see at this very moment, I went a little overboard. The lighting changed for some reason as well, I don't know why. Now I'm going in with the lipstick Notion from ColourPop, and I actually wasn't sure if I liked this one or another one. Um, so I did one with a uh, light purple and one with the one that you see in the video. Let me know which one that you like better in the comments. I think after seeing it, I like the Notion one. But yeah, still let me know. And now I'm just checking out to see if I like the look or not, which um, I did. Um, I'm still checking myself out. I used a different mirror. I needed more of my face to be seen. And um, yeah, that is the final look. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe. Also give it a thumbs up. There will be more makeup videos. Again, I am not a beauty guru. Guru, that's a hard word to say. But um, I do like, enjoy makeup. So thanks. See you next time. Fire when the strong pits you. <laughs>
Brexit friend? <laughs>